Okay, so let's talk about clothes. I got some new stuff in from Lulu's and I want to show you guys them. I had mentioned that I picked up some stuff on my Instagram stories and you guys asked to see them and I just, get, I just, I just want to give you guys what you want. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. I'm honestly very impressed. They reached out to me to partner with me on this video and I was like, absolutely, because I picked up this set from Lulu's. I ordered it in the summer and I think I wore it probably eight times. I'm not kidding. I wore it to my sister's birthday. I wore it to my birthday. I just loved this like linen set. But all of the stuff that I got is beyond adorable and I'm just super excited to show you guys. As usual, everything will be linked down below. Now let's get into the little haul. The first thing I picked up is this adorable little top. They have such cute tops um, on Lulu's. Look at the details. Look at the details on that top just with a pair of jeans. It's a really pretty champagne color. The lighting is a little bit off, but you guys, you can kind of see um, the details on the top there. Stunning, stunning top. That would even look super cute tucked in or paired with this. So this is a brown leather skirt. I'm going through like the biggest leather phase now. Leather pants, leather skirts. If it's leather, I want it. Leather blazers. So this is a beautiful brown leather skirt. It feels delicious. Like the leather feels super soft, super buttery, super luxurious. This under like a cream long coat belted long coat with a nice blouse or even a knit sweater so this is the top with the brown leather skirt i'll show you guys the top with the jeans in just a second and then i did pair this outfit with some knee-high beige booties i just thought it went really well with the skirt i love how these two tones look together really comfortable um it does have like a little frilliness that i just tucked in but if you wanted to wear it out you totally could i'm gonna wear it out with jeans so you'll see it in a little bit but yeah this little brown leather skirt is to die for and then i also picked up this leather skirt. I wanted to wear this with sheer tights and either a pair of loafers or a pair of um, like knee-high boots or you can kind of dress it down and pair it with a knit sweater or a graphic sweater and some sneakers. This is just what it looks like and then I just have it paired with a little black knit sweater, a little black bag and I threw on some tights to make it a little bit more fall appropriate um, and some black heels but you can totally wear boots with this, you can wear sneakers with it. I just love this look i cannot wait to have somewhere to wear this because i feel so good in it it's super comfy and it's actually very warm i think this is the perfect look for fall i love ordering sets because you can wear them together or you can wear them separately obviously but this is a beige knit sweater dress and it is kind of like a midi or maxi dress depending on how how tall you are and then it comes with a matching cardigan in the same color so perfect if you live somewhere that it's already not too cold i'm telling you guys here in montreal we had what not even one week of fall it was summer up until last week it's now like the last week of october and now winter i wouldn't be surprised if it started snowing tomorrow this is good if you live somewhere where it's still a little bit warmer you can never have too many good maxi cardigans even if you're just wearing it to like look cute and lounge around the house so comfortable or you can even pair it with a little pair of booties you can wear the dress with like maybe a little leather jacket this set is exquisite you have the dress and then you also have the little matching cardigan on me it almost goes to the floor the cardigan is a little bit longer than the dress but i just love how they look together and oh my gosh this is like the most comfortable little set ever this is something i would easily throw on and feel amazing wearing just at home but it's also very comfortable it feels like i'm wearing pajamas so and also of course the cardigan you can throw on over like a pair of jeans and a tank top and it'll look really cute okay i also got this knit dress which i wore to thanksgiving it's a little bit more oversized than i was expecting because on the model i didn't take into account that she's probably like eight inches taller than me but it is this like super adorable knit sweater and it goes in at the waist and then it's like that and the back is open. So I paired it with some brown leather thigh high boots and I just belted it because it was a little bit too big. I think this is officially my favorite fall outfit. I feel fabulous 
in this outfit. So we have the knit dress. I do have a belt on, but it's kind of just tucked over. You can't really see it. I like this size because I did want that belted look. So this is perfect. And then I just threw on my brown horse bit bag and I paired it with some brown leather thigh high boots. If this isn't the perfect fall outfit, I don't know what is. Okay, so then I got this denim jacket, which is kind of in like a biker jacket style. Here, I can get it so you guys can see. Slouchy, and then it has these little buckles on the side. If you watch my jacket video, you'd know that I love denim jackets, but I only like denim jackets that have a little bit something different to them. I like them oversized, I like them cropped. I threw the jacket on with the most simple outfit, just a black turtleneck and some leggings, and I absolutely love it. I think it, it, it gives that denim jacket look but while also giving you something a little bit extra. It is a little bit cropped, just perfect. It's just the perfect denim jacket. And then I just threw it on with some chunky boots that you're about to see. And then these jeans, oh my gosh, these jeans. I don't think I've ever put on jeans that fit this well and that are this cool. Um, they're from the brand Pistola, I don't know, but they are so comfortable, so this is them. And then they have a rip in the knee, but this bottom part fits so well. These are like my new favorite jeans. On me, they're the perfect length to wear with like loafers and heels and sneakers. Can we take a moment? Can we take a breath? Can we take a minute for these jeans? Okay, first of all, they fit perfectly. I think these might be like my favorite jeans I found in a really long time because they fit beautifully around your waist. They give you like a nice shape, but then we get to the bottom and there's a little bit more fun action going on. You have the perfect amount of distressing and then it kind of goes into, I don't want to say a flare leg, but just like a little bit of a looser leg and it just looks beautiful. It looks beautiful with heels as you can see. It also looks good with loafers and sneakers. And then here is the same top that I had on before tucked in. I will show you you guys untucked but the combination of this top with these jeans is just absolutely perfect this is the top with a pair of jeans super adorable I feel very girly and feminine and pretty in this top I love the color it is a little bit sheer so make sure you either put like a good bra on or a good nipple sticker and then speaking of shoes I also picked up these boots so I am in like those Frankenstein chunky boot chunky loafers I'm in that phase right now. This is a good combination of both because it still has that chunky sole, but it's not obnoxiously chunky and it's not gonna make you look like your foot is this big, you know? So it's just the perfect amount. Here are the boots. Super comfy, super lightweight. As you guys saw, I wore them with this very simple outfit. I think I'm done buying black boots now. I think like my collection is officially complete. Definitely check out Lulu's for just like really good staples for the fall time. And the quality of their clothes I do find is superior to some of the other brands in the same price range. So I will leave everything linked down below. And yeah, thank you Lulu's for working with me on this video. Today, I feel like um, I was hit by a truck. So that's fun. But other than that, I feel great. Yesterday I did a workout at Orange Theory and normally Orange Theory workouts like for me I do Orange Theory twice a week and for me it's when I get my good amazing cardio my good workout in and then at home I do other videos I just ordered this like new weight thing from Amazon I can show you guys it's like a, a weight because I try to I'm on a mission to grow a booty. Booty bands are fun working out videos are fun but if you want to grow a booty you need weights. Um, yesterday I went to Orange Theory and I didn't think much about the workout. It was just like some weights and stuff. I can't move. I can't move. I'm pushing through it. I'm pushing through it. I have to film something today and then I have I have just have a lot of stuff I have to do. I think I need another coffee. Actually, you know what? Let's go do that now. Let's go make a coffee so I can wake up and feel a little bit more alive. As you guys know, I've been very open about my weight. I gained around 12 pounds, um, which isn't crazy. I'm only five foot one like barely a five foot one. And so over the past, like in my last relationship, there was a lot of like junk food being eaten. And before that relationship, I really never ate junk food. Okay, and that is such a lie. Like who do I think I am saying these lies that I don't eat junk food? I do, but I don't eat them every single day. I'm not against having McDonald's or fast food. I'm not like out here eating chicken and broccoli every day by any means. I'm all about balance. I eat healthy and then I also indulge and have ice cream when I want it. It's all about 
moderation. It's all about balance for myself at least. And so in my last relationship, it wasn't, there was like a lot more just junk food being around, around me at all times. And it's really hard to say no when like someone orders a pizza at 11 and you're like just smelling it and it smells so good. It's hard not to have it. I just could feel like the way my clothes fit, I was just like uncomfortable. I was not exercising and exercising for me plays a big, a big role mentally. So far I'm down around seven pounds and I literally didn't do any, I'm not doing anything different. I'm just working out more and getting more active. I started doing like I'm trying to do 10,000 steps a day. It's not always possible, but I just started getting more active. If I'm spending a lot of time working on the computer, I'll make it a point to go on a walk and get some exercise and stuff like that. But also for eating, because I'm, I like eat ice cream, I eat sushi, like I'm really like all about balance. I, I'm, if I restrict myself too much, I will, it will not work. So instead of having McDonald's every day or having pizza every day, I'll have it once or twice a week. Or if I want ice cream, which my favorite ice cream I just bought is this one right here, mint chocolate. If I want ice cream, I'll have a scoop of ice cream. I won't have three like I might have a year ago. And then also one thing that I noticed that just like always makes a difference is I don't eat after 8 p.m. It's just a personal preference. I don't know if it actually has anything to do for weight loss. Obviously, not every day, but if I'm just at home, I'll make sure that I eat enough before 8 p.m. so that I'm not hungry for the rest of the night. And the reason I do that is because I will not feel gross when I wake up. I feel like when I eat really late at night, like let's say I eat dinner at nine i'll wake up the next morning just feeling very weighed down and sluggish whereas if i stop eating around 7 38 in the morning i just feel better so that's those are the things that i've done and so far i've lost around seven pounds it wasn't the weight that i really minded i just wanted to get healthier i wanted to like eat better foods eat less junk and in and with that came a little bit of weight loss so yeah i've just been doing that and it's been good how did i get on that tangent my nespresso pods still haven't come in so i'm still on my instant coffee i love a good instant coffee i fell asleep with white strips in last night i was watching you i cannot get past the first episode of you if my life depended on it i always put it on and i fall asleep in five seconds i don't normally fall asleep with but with them in but it has happened but they look pretty white i don't recommend it i don't recommend it but it worked so in one of my last vlogs i posted about how my boyfriend and i broke up a while ago you can watch that video if you want to hear more about that and i got a few questions asking about the house and if that changed anything with the house the house buying process because i i guess i never really clarified if i was buying the house alone or buying the house with my boyfriend long story short the house was always just in my name. I kind of see buying a house with someone kind of like a marriage. I didn't want to be legally bound to the person in the form of a house. So the house was always in my name. It did cause a little bit of an argument. I just knew that I would have ended up being a headache and I'm so grateful. I stuck with my gut. Okay, I have to change my battery and we're gonna go blow dry because I will keep talking forever and get myself in trouble. guys doing anything for Halloween this is the first time in like four or five years that I actually have Halloween plans I'm going to a Halloween party and that means I need to you know have a Halloween costume Nikki and I decided because we're going to the party together we decided that she's going as Serena and I'm going as Blair from Gossip Girl. So I ordered the navy blue skirt, navy blue knee highs, these like tacky shoes that she wears. And I'm going to use this spray. I'm gonna need to get like three cans and spray my hair brown. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. For my curling iron, I'm going to use this T3, not tools, not T3. I was using the one from T3 and it literally got so hot it burnt my hair off into a crisp like thank god it was the extend my extension so i just ordered one off uh, a hot tools one off amazon and it's trusty and i love it and so i think i'm gonna do go for like a blowout look 
this is a look i've already done a video i've already done and i'm so bad i love the blowout look but i'm so bad at doing it on myself even with a dyson like i just can't do it i go over the hair a few times to smooth it out and then i go all the way to the bottom and i just roll the hair up everyone okay so it is friday afternoon we launched our scrunchies today and a few jewelry pieces um so that's what i've been doing all day and also remember how my tooth cracked well a few years ago i had a root canal on a tooth here and then i was eating ice cream and a part of my tooth fell off and then i got it fixed and yesterday i was eating dinner and the crown fell off and so i had to go today and get that fixed this tooth it's gonna be the death of me but something really exciting came in today so i ordered furniture for my new house i ordered bar stools i ordered bar stools for my house back in i want to say like july june or july like i think it was july 1st honestly and they emailed me saying that they were going to be only here in september and i was like perfect i'm only supposed to be moving in september but lo and behold i'm not moving until january they're way more beautiful than i was even expecting and they're bigger than i was expecting they just look very worth the money they were expensive i've never spent this much on a chair i did get them 15 percent off which is why i bought them i will know the moment i see a chair the moment i see a, a piece of furniture the moment i see a rug that that is the right one i can't kind of like something i have to be obsessed with it so when i saw these chairs these island stools i immediately fell in love with them it wasn't even a thought in my mind it was like yes these are the stools then i saw the price and i was like oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh that is not in my budget but i was like instead of buying i really wanted this light for my stairs i was like instead of buying the light which i was planning on buying i'm gonna buy these stools it's all about compromise and they finally arrived that was a very long-winded way of me saying that they finally arrived i ordered them in july and they arrived in october i ordered them from ld shop which is a store in ottawa if my house wasn't being built and i wanted them right away i would have been a little bit annoyed at not the customer service because the customer service was good i just would have been a little bit annoyed at the fact that there was no delay times listed on the website i don't know if they've added them now other furniture stores would be like buy it and it's shipping in four to six weeks now you're probably like tony just show me the damn stools okay so this is how they arrive so cool because you don't have to put them together i mean i guess when you're spending that much on a chair you wouldn't expect to put them together but I just like it that it makes it so easy so they all came in a big box like this and then i already took two out and these are the chairs so they just feel really high quality they feel really nice and sturdy these were the stairs these were the stools i had before beautiful material and then the wood is just like it's a delicious wood now here is the dilemma i originally picked for my kitchen island to be black and then it was no longer possible for them to make it in black for whatever reason. And so I had to switch to wood, which I wasn't mad at, but now I'm just worried that these, the wood on here will either like be too matchy matchy with the wood island or it'll clash with the wood island. But I mean, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Ideally, I wouldn't be taking them out of the packaging yet. I would be keeping them like this. Um, and all nice and safe until I moved, but I have literally nowhere to store them, so I have to just put them, put them here. Don't mind the stuff on the stairs, that's all stuff that has to go upstairs, but these are the stools. I am obsessed with them, like 100% obsessed, I could not be happier with them. They're gonna look so good in my new kitchen, I can't wait for you guys to see that. Hi, okay, so, I, on Instagram, for the past few weeks have been showing my favorite fragrances and every time I do I get requests to talk about my favorite fragrances for fall so your wish is my command not to toot my own horn or anything but I have like the best fall collection of fragrances I thrive in the fall I don't like summer fall fragrances are like a passion of mine and I have created the perfect collection so I'm just gonna jump right in they're not all like spicy spicy scents but i do love a good spice that's why i'm starting with this one right here this is spice bomb by victor and rolf now let me just tell you i'm so bad at describing scents let me spray this 
Okay, this smells almost identical, I find, to Killian's Angel Share. So that was, I think, a new fragrance from them last year, and when I smelled that one, it smells almost identical to Spice Bomb. The story behind this one is I was dating someone when this perfume, I think, came out. I smelt it, and I immediately fell in love, and I made him get it. And now, every time I smell this perfume without fail, whenever I see this bottle, I think of that guy crazy how scents can really bring back memories and I think that's why I love like fragrances so much because every season I get a new fragrance and it just reminds me of that time of year so this is like spicy exactly like the name it just smells so good and yes I wear this it is a men's cologne but I wear this too I wear all men's cologne but this is I think my, my number one fragrance mm, that's a lie one of my number one fragrances for fall spice bomb by Victor and Rolf. Next, I wanna talk about this baby right here, which is Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. Oh my God, this is the best perfume I've ever invented. Like, I don't care what anyone says, this is just, <sighs> it's the best perfume ever invented. It was discontinued, okay? Um, I don't wanna talk about it. Sometimes you can find it at Winners. Because it's been discontinued, I wanted something that kinda of had the same vibe. They don't smell identical. But this one, I want to say, almost smells a little better. Like, when I first smelt this perfume, this is um, Atelier Cologne Santal Carmen. When I first smelt this, this is what came to mind. I don't think that they are identical. I don't think that one is a dupe for the other. But I think that they give the same vibe. This smells a little bit like Santal 33 from Le Labo. It smells so delightful. This is my new fragrance for fall. I just picked this up, and this is my fall 2021 fragrance. It's so good. If you can get your hands on this one, I would. They're similar. They're not identical. They both have their own personality and their own differences, but they're both amazing. Let's talk about this baby right here. This is an expensive mama, okay? This is Maison Francis Curtijon Grand Soir. This was my fall winter 2020 fragrance. Not that I necessarily wanted to be reminded of that time in my life, but oh wow, this is just, <laughs> this is something special. This perfume will last on you forever until the end of time. Like you spray this on you once and you will smell like it for days. I'm not kidding. But this, when you first smell it, smells like a, a men's sexy, spicy cologne. Gives me similar vibes um, of Spice Bomb, but like a billion times better. When this mix is on my skin, what I love most about it is that it creates a really sweet scent. How this dries down on my skin is a completely different scent than how it smells straight out of the bottle. If I spray this on my hair, if I spray this on my clothes, it'll smell, stay smelling more like this, but I spray it on my skin and it gives the most magical fragrance. So these perfumes, are super expensive. This is the same brand that makes Baccarat Rouge, which I'm going to get to next. I love it so much for the fall and winter at nighttime especially. And I don't know why, I just love a cologne on a woman. I don't even know if this is a cologne. I think they're all considered colognes technically. Moving on to this mama right here, Baccarat Rouge. Let me tell you a little story about this. I never understood the magic of Baccarat Rouge because I've only ever smelled it on myself. And with this fragrance, you'll hear a lot of times that once you spray it, you can't really smell it on yourself. Yesterday I went for dinner and I was in the bathroom and this beautiful, gorgeous, stunning girl comes in and we're talking and we're you know how girls are in the bathroom we go to leave the bathroom and i get a whiff of her and it's unmistakably baccarat rouge and i was just almost like engulfed in this scent it just smelled so good and i finally understood the magic that was baccarat rouge so i stopped her and i was like you are wearing baccarat rouge it smells heavenly and she whipped out a little travel size bottle and she's like do you want some and I was like sure so I went back to the table and everyone was like oh my god what happened you smell so good it is a stupidly insanely expensive perfume but you only need a little bit and it'll last all night but now do I think you need to buy this exact perfume for this price now no because there are so many good dupes on the market for it which is a good and a bad thing obviously it's good because it's more accessible my favorite is the alt perfume dupe i did a whole video on these perfume dupes and the alt perfume dupe is unmistakably 
like identical at the same time i know people who have been wearing this perfume for years who are getting annoyed that it's you know becoming so accessible for me i think that the dupes are amazing you know i'm not a gatekeeper of fragrance that is the one thing i hate that people do when you go and you're like oh my god you smell so good what is it and they're like I don't know I don't remember like you're a liar but I have spoken to people who are annoyed and said that this was their like favorite secret perfume um, and now everyone wears it but that just means there's more people smelling amazing in this world and that's never a bad thing this one from replica autumn vibes this is very fall definitely you smell it it's unmistakably fall but it's not spicy it's like a fresh how can I describe it? It's like a fresh fall. Like when you walk outside the door, you're hit in the face with that crisp, fresh air and the leaves. That is exactly how this smells. When I first smelled this, I was expecting like spicy. So when I first smelled this, I was a little bit disappointed, not gonna lie. For a day fall fragrance, this is the perfect fragrance. It's not too overpowering. It's light and fresh. So this isn't really a fall perfume, but I want to talk about it because it is just like one of my absolute favorite fragrances at the moment. When I go out at night for dinner and stuff, this is what I normally wear. This is YSL Libre. This is just what I imagine like every pretty girl smells like. You guys see I'm like the worst at describing scents. This has even surpassed Chanel Mademoiselle, which was like my number one for years. Finally, let's talk about our vanilla perfumes. Vanilla is a staple for me, but I'm very picky with my vanilla. My absolute favorite, favorite, favorite vanilla is KLE Vanilla 28. This, every time I wear this, without fail, I get complimented on it. It smells so warm and inviting, but beautiful and not overpowering. It's kind of just the best vanilla scent in the entire world. This is um uh, the Atelier Cologne Vanilla Essence Perfume. I'm not even gonna recommend this to you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. They sent this to me. I don't like it. This I wanna talk about. This is the Nemat Vanilla Oil. This is it, okay? It's a perfume oil, so this lasts on your skin for days. This one smells very, as if you're like cooking vanilla cookies and you just, you know, rub them all over your body. That's like the only way I can describe it. These are the rest of my perfumes. Gizu is also very pretty. All of these perfumes are very pricey, like Baccarat, Grand Soir. There's like so many perfumes. Rouge Trafalgar, they're very pricey, but my favorite dupe for perfumes is this brand, Oil Perfumery, except for the Baccarat, I like the Alt Fragrance dupe. So I'll leave them all linked down below, and if they do have a dupe for any of the perfumes I mentioned, I will also leave it. I'm sorry that was so long-winded, but I did want to go through and have one place where I recommend all my fragrances, my favorite fragrances for fall. I know these are expensive, so I will do my best to link all the dupes that I can find. I will leave everything linked in the description box along with the clothes from Lulu's that I showed you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys back here next time.